It is, it is definitely a cool game. It's just like the last episode that we saw took way too long. I DM'd you the drawing. Perfect. Let me, let me take a look at it. It looks really good, actually. I assume the, the, the two pictures on the downside were like the... Um, dude, I can't even talk anymore. What's the word I'm looking for? The template? And like the, the other pictures, like the, the pictures above were like what you drew. References, yes. Looks 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 great though. Oh shit. All right. So uh, now we're back in this, and um, we found four cassettes already. Like, is that a cassette? A cassette, whatever. And there's probably one more. Did you expect any worse? Not worse. It's. I don't know. I, I didn't have any expectations. I'll be here. That's our cat. She can talk, by the way. <laughs> and there's a creepy guy threatening us over telephone all the time. And he's kind of upset about us for some reason. He seems to not like us. I I assume this whole game will be some kind of um, curveball into our own mind being angry at us. Oops, this one's on me. The elevator was supposed to drop all the way down and explode. Since you're stuck there, starving to death, how about you take this opportunity to reflect on what a major pain in the ass you all right. Thank you so much for the research. Hello, everyone. Devo's shock. I appreciate it. Ten months already. Holy fuck. Like, I kind of don't think this game is like a fictional game. Our baby is one month old. Nice. It'll still shit in the pants for a couple more months. Oh, shit. Did you Thanks, Cat. Appreciate. So this is what happens when I'm not around. Huh. Why is that cat being such a dick? Can you tell me that? So this is what happens when I'm not around. I'm 18 still shit in my pants, understandable. Okay, cat. Appreciate the help. It's the DBD instinct. Why are you so sarcastic? What did I ever do to you? Have you stopped to wonder what the tapes really mean to you? They're not just recordings of your patients, that's for sure. You've listened to their stories and their troubles, but what of your own? Who decides the story of Desmond Wales? It's not too late, you know. This is where you get off. See you back at the office. Doodles. The cat is very sassy. The cat also fulfills an interesting purpose in this game. Because the whole purpose of this cat is to explain things to the player. Like it's a it's an interesting choice in terms of like video game design. The whole purpose of that cat is to explain things that the player could have understood on their own. Our baby grew 3.5 centimeters in total. I mean, that's, that's quite large. I'm googling baby facts. If you're reading this, it means I was right in that case. Oh yeah, no, no that, we got that already. We already got the pistol. Okay, cool. So... Let's... Second floor? It is.
That is the second floor. May I ask its name? The baby's name? Did we didn't we name it like Deep Left? Or something? Or Derek? Looks fragile. <laughs> it's it's not it's not it's not an actual baby. I just wanna point that out. It's a Twitch baby. It it is it is not It is called Derek. Okay. It, we we don't have an actual baby. Uh, just just to clear misunderstandings here. But when you su subscribe to someone for nine months on Twitch, you call that having a Twitch baby. <laughs> just 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 in case you you didn't know. <laughs> this game is about a psychologist that is trapped in some kind of weird parallel world and has to deal. With very strange occurrences. For me, the baby is real? Okay. It is very real. Yes. <laughs> it, no, it is, it is an absolutely true and real Twitch baby. It is born with a bandana. <laughs> Imagine. So... I wish we had more pills. I don't know, like, these pills are a strange chemical compound that we have mixed together in the last episode. Emotional damage! Sadly, we don't have any pills. Otherwise, we could open all that up. Oh, we found a pill. Uh, okay, my bad. I missed the pill. So the, the stinky liquid on the floor is um, exploding when you... Oh my god. You're disappointing. It explodes when we throw pills at it. It never really got explained why that is. And the whole fact that it happens did stay a mystery for me until someone in chat pointed out. Oh, there was absolutely nothing here. Well, more pills, I guess. Trade one pill for two. We take that. Is that my father? I don't know who that is. That's like another interesting ghost figure. That never really got introduced. I assume he's also part of our subconscious. Like, like I, my assumption where this game will lead us would be that all this is happening just in our subconscious. And none of this is actually real. And we are like in a hospital because we had an accident or something. I assume this is like the, the backstory to like explain all this. And there's always these, these kind of doors. That um, lead us to like the the living spaces of our clients and the next client seemed to be lucas limber up every morning no excuses the life expenses expectancy of the of a radio man radio man was five seconds always defy the odds of a radio man what is a radio man We created fart noises. I like it. More pills. What do we have here? <laughs> Between 1945 and 1973, the government and CIB held... That's probably CIA, I guess. Hold numerous major experiments involving psychoactive drugs. See research on MK, Montauk Files, Philadelphia Shipyard, etc. Files found on Greenland shark toxins, tryptosibin mushroom extracts, rainbow herbicides, Agent Orange, Agent Purple, Agent Green. Where does rainbow fit in? Soldiers are government property, civilians private risk reward. Something like that. Yeah, those pills are really large. 
To be fair, but I've, I've seen similarly large pills in real life. So, we actually don't know that. This is, this is my personal assumption that we are in a hospital. And this is like the whole reason of why, why this all is happening. And we're basically living in our breaking down psyche. And we need to find like the end of the tunnel to, to um, get back in. Known establishments and associate locations. Maya Corporation, 600 blah blah blah. That's some kind of addresses. Blocks from the White House. Interesting. Now this is this is like a reasonable size, I would say. Now we need to conduct an experiment. No, this is definitely a reasonable size. I mean, it is slightly larger than this, but still. They looked, yeah, but that's probably just so we can see them better. It's like the same thing when you visit a bakery. Did you ever notice that basically every bakery has a kind of magnifying glasses looking like glass in front of, of, the, of the pastries? So they look bigger? It's, it's a dick move, and I hate it. I already got it out of the package. I might as well take it. Um, oh, and there's our tape. A green cassette tape of my recorded sessions with Lucas. There we go. That's where it gets interesting. No. And this kind of thing always tells us that we can see something with our little mirror. mirror. Never forget... Rip, rip, rip. Where does this lead? Somewhere on the other side. Interesting. All my friends are dead. Not fault, not job, war as hell. Liar, not delusional, flashing back. Everyone is crashing. Some Wi Fi kind of sign. Death in an instant. But where does this actually lead us? Interesting. Looks like some sort of a power unit. I would agree on that. Very peaceful music. What is this even? Is it so fucking warm outside for you guys too? It is like really, really warm. Feels weird. It's like it's off. Super late. Like it's it's kind of still winter in my head. But apparently it isn't anymore. Maybe it's over. Wilfred Billbird, Gov Liaison, Poughkeepsie, New York. Recently transferred to Milton Haven from Long Island. Credentials unknown, status unknown, involvement absolute. Interesting. The billbird. I... Some, like, this, this Poughkeepsie keeps rings a... Gips, rings a mind. Uh, ring, rings a bell, dude. How do you even talk? It rings a bell in my mind. Maybe just be, it, because it was, like, something with Supernatural. I think it was something with Supernatural. all we could do here. I think I didn't quite understand what else we can do. Time to leave. Alright, we're stocked up on everything. We can now try to find more shit that we can unlock. Hmm. 
Cool. Maybe we can find more stuff. Because there's like hidden pills everywhere. And those mainly like give you give you I got that feeling too. Nothing better than more. Nothing better than more of those. It has a small coin slot. <laughs> Hello, welcome back. I wonder if it's already worth it to go back in these places. I'm back now for my phone, lying in bed. Sounds good. That sounds comfy. Let's check back here. Apparently there is some, and thank you for the lurk, apparently there's some, some vinyls lying around. That we could find. I don't really see how. Okay, that was easy. That was easy. What do we find here? There's a vinyl. Purple vinyl. Desmond, we spoke of running a Rorschach test. Have you done one before? No, but I've seen it in movies. You show me a picture and I say what it makes me feel. I show you an ink blot and you tell me what it might look like. Shall we do a few? Sure. First image. A flower, but it's broken. Second image. A crowded auditorium. Third image. Two people fighting. Fourth image. What might this be? A monster with six arms, likely snakes. I'm sorry, I just sound incredibly stupid. Not at all. There are no wrong answers, Virginia. How does this last ink plot make you feel? Powerful. A monster with six arms, likely snakes. The broken glass we hold on is um, our very powerful um, super mirror looking glass thing. It, you, you, we can see some things with it that we couldn't, and it's also able to break wood and and cut plastic, which sounds less useful than it actually is. Let's go back. I kind of wanna wanna see if I can find more of these uh, vinyls. But also I don't want to stay like don't want to wait too long with the with with like just continue with the main story. Since the idea was to finish the game at some point. Last night I woke up to the sound of two men whispering outside my window. I peeked and saw what looked like the feds taking pictures of the house. I quickly ran downstairs but opened my front door. Uh, but they were gone and now I can't sleep. I'm pretty sure that's what I saw, but I'm not certain. Times I've woken up here too. So this was uh, the, the house down burning man. That had like a very paranoid uh, episode. It's it's their home. And we found another vinyl. Another Rorschach test. This is... This is uh, sadly... 
macht das gibberish. <lacht> If we are being realistic, it sadly is just gibberish. Let's go on with the main, main quest. <laughs> so, as far like I, I didn't learn anything about the Rorschach test, since as far as I know, it doesn't get used anymore. It's like a cool looking thing, but no one actually uses it. Like, it's always kind of easy to take like mystifying things like Rorschach Lucas tests. Lucas to get out of here. You have to contact him. Yeah, man oh, seems to be her rainbow. Whatever you see when you're there, don't let it hinder you. Okay, cat. Keep going. Yes, cat. All right. Next step. Watch yourself out there. And now we're looking into the dreams of man Lucas. And we'll see where that goes. Wait, I didn't click play. play. <laughs> 